Okay, now let's go through the Java programming basics uh, like learning Java controls, data types, variables and constants, arithmetic operators and expressions, Java, Java control statements like if, if, else, while, for, switch and case. So these are some of the basic uh, things of, of any programming language that we are going to discuss now. If you know these, uh, you can skip this tutorial. Okay, so now let's first make our first uh, Hello World program. Hello World Java class, we have created one class called Hello World Java and the class name is also Hello World. So there is one method called public static void main. It's very important because it's the entry point of a program. Without main method, your program will not run. Okay, now we want to print hello world. So uh, we are writing uh, system dot out dot println hello world. And simply save this and uh, run the uh, run your Java class. See, you can see the output in the console. So system.out.println basically for printing a string uh, to the console. Okay. So uh, what are variables and constants? Constants are data elements whose values do not change during program execution. And variables. Variable is a kind of container which holds different values. Let's see. Now I have created uh, one class uh, student.java. In this, I want to uh, keep the roll number of the student. So, I, I need one uh, variable, roll now. I can uh, have any variable name, whatever I want. So, I need to store the roll number of that student and uh, give that roll number maybe 5. Okay, now this roll number is of type integer. So, the data type I will use for this variable name will be int. And whatever I write will end in a semicolon. This, this statement. This is called a Java statement. And all Java statements end with semicolon. You can see these curly braces uh, between main. Whatever you want to write a code, you have to write in between these curly braces. Because every entry point of a Java program is main method. So this is a data type int. Now I want to store... Uh, the age age of the student so age is again of type integer age is supposing 10 years then what is the data type it's int int and variable name i have declared is and i've initialized this variable with 10. now i want to find uh, the marks marks uh, can be decimals also so we will declare the marks as a float data type Can be float okay so now but we need to declare it as double 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 is also a type of data type in uh, java so these are that data types other data types are like care they are used for in the storing the character then uh, we have uh, float and double for storing the decimal numbers and boolean is for storing uh, true or false values that we can see in detail later on and then we have derived data types like arrays and strings and there are some data types which are defined by user like classes and interfaces we'll talk about them later on okay uh, now i have some other class square now if i want to find the area of the square what i'll do is i have declared the side of the square uh, data type is int Side is the variable name. I have initialized this to supposing 5 is the side. Now I want to find the area. I need another variable and I will uh, declare it. In data type is integer and I want I will declare this variable name area and with semi semicolon. Okay. Now to find the area, I will say area. We, I need to apply the formula. Area is equal to side into side now i want if i want to do some calculations i need the operators so these are the what the operator i have used a multiplication operator now i want to print this value i'll simply uh, 
sys out this value means uh, I simply print out this value like this area is if I want to um, print two values then I need to concatenate it if I want to print the area then area is double quotes will be coming to the console as it is and area is the variable name which will be appended to it that's why I use a plus here now simply save this and run your uh, Java program see the output is area is 25 so this is how uh, we are using arithmetic operators there are other uh, arithmetic operators also in Java like addition subtraction multiplication we have used now division modulus is for uh, finding the remainder then other operators are also there in Java and they have some precedence so if it has higher precedence then that is evaluated first so how an expression is arithmetic expression is evaluated according to the precedence of the uh, operators so that's all about uh, this next topic we'll be discussing about the other java control statements